thrift shopping. Goodwill Late Night Edition. Jesus Christ. 393. He's coming with me. Is he sitting at a desk? Beep, 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 beep. That looks like a Stetson. It is a Stetson, a Royal Stetson. Check eBay. When you search eBay, don't just look at what it's listed for. Hit filter. Select completed and sold. Now you can see what the items actually sell for. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, 255? That looks similar. Beep, 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 Well, looky dooty daddy at this table. 70s era brass and glass is super hot right now. Google. Google Lens is great for quickly researching furniture. Here's the same table on first dibs for 1850. I wonder what mine will sell for. I guess we know why this one was at the thrift store. Remember, quickness, kindness, and curiosity will help you attract thrifty treasures. And boom shakalaka. Thanks for watching the only episode of... I scored this incredible original oil portrait for six dollars. I think because it had a tear in it, but I can fix it. I'm already getting so many compliments on my painting. I feel like I'm just parading my beautiful child around the store. People are staring. They love it. Look, this is just... Oh! See? <laughs> They're all looking at my painting. Okay, anyone who knows me knows that I'm a big time thrifter. And obviously since I've been engaged, I search for wedding stuff at Goodwill and Salvo and all the thrift shops that I go to. I found some bridesmaids dresses, so go back and look at my bridesmaids videos if you want to see those. And I'll show you what I got this weekend at Goodwill. Okay, so I got these Mrs. and Mr. little hanging signs that I'm going to put on the outside of the doors of the getting ready rooms on our wedding day. For the guys and the girls. Those were three dollars. And then I got two of these huge ring rafts for my bachelorette party and they were each $1.99. Okay so I got this hat with like a veil attached to the back of it and it says just married. I thought it'd be cute at my honeymoon. I got this really pretty white dress that I thought would be cute at like my bachelorette party or honeymoon or I don't know what. And then I also got this super cute dress that I like am in love with. And then I got these jungle themed koozies for my bachelorette party. My favorite places to thrift in LA. Silver Lake Flea Market. The Hunt. Vintage on Point. Most insane, new to me thrift spot in Chinatown. So if you live in or around LA, save this baby and give it a visit ASAP because the inventory was out of this world. So, so good. I could barely contain my shimmies. They're also super size inclusive, which we obviously love to see always. Now heading upstairs, I truly felt like I was transported to like Nickelodeon's big sister's sexy ass 2003 apartment. The shoes caught my eye instantly. And of course had to grab these chunky platform loafer babies. These were also very cutie. Then to come through the pants, there were just so many wild ass pairs, but these pink playboys were calling my name and then these orange babies absolutely stole my heart so so much good lingerie like wearable lingerie vintage designer moments and baby tea galore the prices were actually very affordable and of course i had to grab some vintage magazines for my coffee table queen pamela hello here's a few of the pieces that i ended up bringing home with me this is going to be such a dream haul and i cannot wait to show you guys everything peace queens I am thrifting today at Salvation Army. I love coming on Wednesdays in particular because everything is 50% off. So I started at the shoes and I found these heels that were unworn and I just had to try them on because I love the brand Mango and they were a perfect fit. So I'll be taking these for summer. 
I loved this art print as well. And of course I passed through the glassware. These were awesome. And I found the perfect martini glasses. These were a set of six. You know, I had to look at this vase. I love the shape. Something about this caught my eye. The backrest was just gorgeous. And of course I didn't buy this one, but I had to show you guys this giant dinosaur head. This leather trench was awesome. A shout out to my alma mater. And of course, anything with Sherpa or denim is a must. And I love this Brandy Melville zip up, so I made sure to grab that as well. And I bought everything for $5. So I found this OG pair of Nike Air Hirachis on the bottom rack right here. $8, and today's half off, so we're getting them for four bucks. This is the original pair from 1991. The way you can tell is if you look right here, the first two numbers, that's the last two digits of the year. So these were made in 1991. They're just a little dirty from the age, but I think we can clean these up nice. All right, so the first step of the cleaning process is to take the laces out. Once you got them out, you wanna put them in some bleach and water and let them soak so they get nice and white again. All right, while the laces are soaking, we're gonna grab our brush, some soap and water, and scrub them down. All right, so the soap really did a good job. So now that the laces are crispy white, we're gonna get them laced up. And boom, these babies are fresh and clean. 